see you. Well, you look great, Louis. Oh, thank you. Because last time we had a little discussion about <laughs> would it kill you to wear a tie? Yes. <laughs> and it hasn't killed me. No. You Sorry. look fantastic. Thanks. And I, I, I hate I, it. I hate the way this feels. Really? Yeah. But, but you look, uh, you know, you look so good. You, you look like the uh, entrepreneur, the auteur uh, that you are. Okay. <laughs> how, are, how are your daughters? Tell me about them. They're great. Uh, the uh, youngest one just turned nine, and then the older one r remains 12 for a few more months. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're good. I mean, this week is testing week at schools. I so, hear a lot about yeah, that. Yep. Yeah. So they're th three days of extensive standardized testing. Mm -hmm. And, and do you, what are the consequences of the standardized testing? Well, the way I understand it, if the, a school's kids don't test well, they burn the school down. So it's wow. pretty high pressure. A lot of pressure on the kids. Yeah. Wow. And the tests are written by people that nobody knows who they are. It's very secretive. Mm -hmm. And the questions are, because they have to prepare for these tests for a long time. A lot of the year is about the tests. Teaching for the test. Teaching to the test, they yeah. call it, because mm -hmm. they, they decided there's a new way kids should think, and we're going to prove they're thinking it by having them pass these tests. Yeah or we burn the school down. So, anyway, my kids kind of panic when they're in these, uh, you know, which is okay, you know? My mother was a math teacher and she taught me that moment where you go, I don't know what this is when you panic. That means yeah. you're about to figure it out. Ah. That means you've let go of what you know and you're about to grab onto a new thing. That's great. That you didn't know yet. So I always, I'm there for them in those moments and I go, come on, just look at the problem. And then I look at the problems and it's like, you know, Bill has three goldfish, uh, he buys two more, uh, how many dogs live in London? Or something like that. So, wow. That's crazy. Well, you better, better notify the fire department. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right here with Louis C.K., everyone. <laughs> comes on uh, May 5th. How many uh, uh, shows do you do in, in a run in your series? How many do you have to do each uh, season? Well, this season was supposed to be 13, mm -hmm. but I made an extra one because I just so had 14? too much stuff. So yeah. it's 14, yeah. So, and, and you're uh, uh, responsible. You're in it. Yes. Uh, you created it. It was all your idea. Manifestation of you and your life. Mm -hmm. you, you write it. You direct it. Yeah. That's a crazy amount of work, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I edit it also. Well, you edit the damn show. Yeah, the damn show. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I edit the damn show. Do you... Uh, <clears throat> So you folks look long and hard at that editing, okay? <laughs> but I, I mean, you can do it, and you must love doing it, but yes. it's a tremendous amount of work. It is. It's very hard. And uh, I think if I could take one job away that I wouldn't do, mm -hmm. it would be the acting. Really? Because that's the one that makes all the other ones harder. Mm -hmm. It's hard to direct when you're the dude. <laughs> and... It's hard to edit because I have to look at my stupid face for just hours and hours. <laughs> and then I got to go out here and promote it and say, you, you got to see this guy. Uh -huh. yeah, it just gets so sick to my stomach yeah. by the time it's over. <laughs> well, it's really too much. Uh, now, now, this brings up an interesting point. Have you ever thought of doing everything but starring in the show and, and casting a guy to be you in the show? It's a really good idea. Do you want to do it? Because you're going to be... A... No. No, I will have... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have some time. <laughs> By the way, I'm, uh, I'm very pleased for Stephen Colbert. He's a great guy and he's my friend. But it, it, the fact that you're leaving really sucks, <laughs> I think. Because... <laughs> Louis, no one on this program, either over at NBC or here, has ever used the expression, sucks... I'm going to make a note of that. Thank you very much. I'm going to start using that more around the house. Yeah, it's good. 
It's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it, it, it's none of my business, but how, how, can I ask you how old a guy you are? Sure, I'm 46. I have no problem with that. 46, 46 yeah. You look, you look good at 46. Oh, thank you. Two, uh, two kids, 46, yeah. that works great, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I don't care about getting older. Mm -hmm. Things get easier when you get older. How, how so? Well, you just slow down a little. You don't think, nothing's so important after a while because you've seen it go around 46 times. It yeah. doesn't get much better, so right. why worry about it? <laughs> so, like, like uh, I was on a plane. I was going, flying out to Los Angeles recently for a lot of important stuff, and I was in the, in, in sitting on a aisle seat with two, you know, with three seats. Next. It was like a very mm -hmm. crowded, stressful flight. And we're about to take off, and this woman gets on with her baby like this, mm. and her husband and two other just sad-looking kids, and she's just <laughs> walking through the plane hitting people with her baby. <laughs> She's so upset, and I saw her come, and I realized that she's sitting oh, here. Oh, no. And I'm like, uh. So she comes up, and she says, okay, here's how this is going to work. Ah. This is all true. She goes, you're sitting in the middle. I'm sitting in the aisle because I have a baby. Oh. And I thought, okay. <laughs> and I told her, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off the plane. Just, just get off So I got off the plane. The plane. <laughs> true story. <laughs> I just got off the plane. She was upset, so I didn't want to do it. So I got off the plane. I went home, <laughs> and I just didn't go do that stuff yeah. in the other in Los Angeles. <laughs> and the next day, day, people called me and said, what "You know, happened? where are you?" Yeah. And I was like, "I don't know. I just the lady was upset. I don't want to do it." Yeah. <laughs> I think you made the honest to God. I think you made the right decision. Yeah. And and if it were me in that situation, I would have done the same thing yeah. because. That's not the way you want to begin no. your cross-country trip. No, I don't want to do it. And whatever I had to do over there it didn't get done, and it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's right. So I had, this, you know. this is a, a manifestation of you growing older. It's not just not that's that right. important. That's right, because I knew whatever I'd get there, I'd meet some people and go, yeah, okay, that sounds a good idea. Mm -hmm. None of us would ever end up doing any of it. And then mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> meanwhile, that poor lady's, you know, their stupid baby. Yeah. Or, you know, having yeah. a bad flight. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a sign of great, uh, great maturity. But that, that's kind of like the, the credo uh, of your life. It's sort of like, fine, fine, if you don't want to do it my way, okay, we just won't do it. Yeah, right. You've been very successful with that. Yeah, it, it has worked. I, I just kind of do whatever I want, and I don't mind. It's because I don't mind when things go bad. It's mm -hmm. not so bad. Mm -hmm. So you just do what you want to do, and, you know, I mean, I hope my kids are better than me at all of that. I'm trying to teach them to be a little better than me at everything. That's what you hope, right? That your kids are better than you. Yes, yes. Well, but I think that you're a pretty good role model. Now, I'm not in the house, but I think you're... <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I think you're a pretty good role model yeah. from, from what I've seen. You know, that the kid, kids must admire you uh, for other reasons than just being a great dad. I guess so, yes. I think, I mean, my, their experience of me is that I make them breakfast, and sometimes breakfast sucks. <laughs> Just now that you've got it in your lexicon. Uh, twice there. Okay. No, I think I, I think I do an okay job. I mean, what I try to teach my kids is that you're not going to get what you want most times. And mm -hmm. if you learn to be okay with that, with, with being disappointed, if you, yeah. if you can survive disappointment, uh, then you, nothing can beat you. Well, let me ask you a, a, a question, and it's specifically about breakfast. Uh, <laughs> I have this uh, conversation with my son who is 10, who is, I guess, right between the ages yes. of your daughters. Uh, and it goes like this, well, uh, what would you like for breakfast? Well, I'm not hungry. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but let's just say you were. What, how about bacon? <laughs> no. <laughs> how about eggs? No. <laughs> Pancakes? No. And so we go through every imaginable form of consumable human right. food. Yeah. None of which interests the kid. And yeah. then, so now we go back and we start over. And it's clear that he has decided on his side, he's going to say no to everything I come up with. Yeah. But yet, they have to eat. Yes, they do, but why what do you, they, what do, you do at Why that are point? you asking him what he wants? I mean, you're, you're asking him oh, to decide see. where everything's headed. 
And look, I know why you're asking. I get it. But the thing is, you're saying if he doesn't decide what he wants, he won't eat. So I'm already That's behind crazy. the eight ball. That's never going to be his. So, so yeah. with your girls, you just put the food in front I of them. I go, here's what we're having. Here's what we're I having. I don't want that. And I go, all right, what do you want then? <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> that's that seems about right. Yeah, because for for a minute there, you you, you really had me. Yeah, no. you really no, had man. me, and I thought, oh no, it's just crap! It yes, I've made a terrible mistake. Yes, no, that's the way it is. Yeah, that's the way it goes. And then I make a different breakfast. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I end up eating both of them. I know, it becomes, yes, the yeah. house becomes a diner. That's, that's right. What we go through. That's right. Uh, Louis C.K., ladies and gentlemen. Now, Louis, uh, the fourth season. You can see it beginning May fifth at ten on FX. That's where it is. It's on FX. That's right. This is Louis C.K. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for dressing Thank up, Louis. We'll be right back with Amy.